Today, I'm announcing members of PCAST, the President's Council of Advisors on Science and Technology, which is one of the most extraordinary councils at the White House. The group I'm announcing today represents America and the world's foremost experts in their field. A renowned physician who's developing a leading breast cancer medicine, another leading physician reducing racial disparities in healthcare, an astrophysicist who has unlocked secrets of the universe, and the first American woman to walk in space, and who later led our nation's exploration into the depths of our oceans. A groundbreaking engineer harnessing advanced wind energy, plus experts in agriculture and social science, immunology and mathematics, cybersecurity, nanotechnology, and more. They include 20 members of the National Academy of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine, five MacArthur Genius Fellows, two Nobel laureates, and two former cabinet secretaries. And they represent the most diverse PCAST in history. In the 64 years of PCAST history, there have never been a woman who has a chair. Well, my council has two women as co-chairs. For the first time, women are half of its members. For the first time, immigrants and people of color, including Black, Hispanic, and Asian Americans, make up more than one-third of its members. Because of their extraordinary intellect, their wide range of experiences, and their unprecedented diversity, this PCAST will see new possibilities to create good jobs, empower American workers, and grow the economy for everyone to change the course of human health and disease, to tackle the climate crisis with American innovation, and to lead the world in technologies and industries of the future and to protect our security. To ensure science and technology include all Americans and improve the life of all Americans. I'm grateful to all the members of PCAST and their families for the willingness to serve. And to be very blunt, I'll be counting on their expertise as we continue to follow the science and always believe that America be defined as one word. I've told every world leader when they asked me to define America, it's one word, possibilities, possibilities. Thank you to the entire PCAST team. Now let's get to work.